Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Dude. Whoa. Oh. Dude, I'm shaking. Thank god for braid, man. First fish in my new kayak. Oh. Dude. Look at this. Hook just came right out. Look at that. Wow. 21 and a half. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> she was ready. <laughs> she was ready to go, man. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, I cannot believe it. Well, anyways. What's up guys, we're out here on the Harris Chain today. I'm kind of pre-fishing for the tournament that's coming up next weekend for the KAF, Kayak Anglers of Florida. And I'm at a, a, a new lake I've never been to before on the Harris Chain. That's the first fish I caught today. First fish in the new kayak. I'm in my kayak this time. I'm not in Tim's kayak. I finally got my trolling motor. I'm borrowing a battery from work, but my battery's supposed to be coming in next week, hopefully before the tournament, but if not, then I could still borrow battery, so it's it's almost done. I still got like odds and ends things to do on this, but for the most part, it's fishable, and yeah, I can't I can't be any more happier than that first fish being a 21 and a half a day so far. It's 9:51. I got out here a little late. Just I was just taking my time. There's no there's no reason to be rushing and getting all you know, worried about being here on time and stuff, especially if I'm just checking out the lakes. Yeah, I like it. I don't know. If I catch more like that on these docks, then I got another spot that I want to try again, but I don't know. I'm also doing the KBF May State Challenge. So that's a good start for this, for May. I mean, it's May 1st. I got until May 30th, and if I can find five more like that for the whole month, probably be sitting pretty good because in May if you finish in the top percent you get to qualify for the national championship and the uh, challenge championship so I may as well try it you know 40 43 bucks ain't too bad so anyways I, I mean I might as well fish the state challenge while I'm pre-fishing or just regular fishing because you never know what you're going to catch, especially here in Florida, and I could win some money. So why not try to get paid while I'm fishing for fun or pre-fishing? So anyways, we're going to continue doing what we're doing, see if we can find some more. But that was crazy, man. I didn't even know how to bite. I went to pick up, and it was heavy, and then it started swimming away. Whew. I'm hungry. So far, I know the other spot I have, I know I can get a limit in there. Here, I only had maybe two bites. One was a small one, I got a solid, and then that one. I've also heard good bags coming out of this lake. Ooh. If it don't come off. Whoop. That's a, I mean, I'll take it. 15 and a half. All right, all right, goodbye. I don't know if I said goodbye to the other one or not, but goodbye. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking this lake. I think it has potential. I like it because I'm not getting hung up and I drill it so much, but on the other hand, the other spot I have has a ton of hydrilla, which I know I'm gonna get aggravated, 
but I know I can get my limit in there and I know that there's big ones in there too. So, I don't know. I might go try it again tomorrow, see what happens. Okay, little guy. Stop, oh, don't do that. I've got very limited of these worms. I'm not even gonna measure you. A little tiny guy. <laughs> Goodbye. Little guy. As soon as I take the picture. Oh. All right. Goodbye. Well, the offshore bite didn't really pan out the way I thought it would be, but at least I went out there and looked around and see if I could find anything. A little bit of school and fish, but nothing crazy. I couldn't find any uh, brush piles or anything like that. I'm not really good at trying to find them. I don't really spend too much time idling back and forth trying to find brush piles because it's just not something like I like to do. But I know it can be super effective here in Florida, but I don't know. I couldn't find any for the little bit of time I was driving around. But anyways, a few fish here and there in this lake. Maybe if I got here a little earlier, I probably would have got more bites when it wasn't so hot. It's 88 degrees right now. It's two o'clock, so I don't know. Summer's coming. It's gonna get hotter than this. I know that. I'm really happy that I caught that 21 incher right off the bat, first fish in this kayak, because that just, I don't know if that could be a good thing or a bad thing, but I wanna say it's a good thing. Speaking about this new kayak, I'll be doing a whole walkthrough and how I, how I have everything set up once I uh, get the little odds and ends. Um, you know, arranged the way I want it. So that'll be coming up shortly. And then I'll do a video of how I mounted the troll motor on the front. And then, uh, yeah, I think for this tournament, I'm gonna go to my other spot just cause I feel more confident over there. I know I'll get a limit. Um, and I know there's big ones in that area as well. So yeah, everything was on the speed worm, just like normal. I tried a little bit of different things. I tried the jerk bait, like I showed you. I tried the round trap, long knocker. I tried the jackhammer stealth one. That really didn't do anything. And I tried a whopper plopper. Also, this little contraption I made up. I thought this would do something with the little schooling fish that was out in the middle of nowhere, getting on some shad. It's a little tiny uh, spinner bait by Booyah. It's, I think it's like the mini spinner or something like that. Just white. And I, what I did is I put a speed worm tail as a trailer. It looked pretty good in the water. I, I thought it would work, but nothing wanted it today. But I think it would work one day. But anyways, nothing really to punch around here. I was hoping to find some punching mats, but ain't nothing. So I know the other area that I'm going to go into has some st stuff I can punch, but we'll see. But anyways, I think we're going to end it here. I got a two hour drive back home, so get back home and see what I'm going to do tomorrow. But <clears throat> so far, pretty fun day. At least I got to learn the lake a little bit and see what it was all about, what kind of structure I'm dealing with and kind of grass and all that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the bottom, subscribe if you've not subscribed yet, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.